Greetings everyone and welcome back to a video that I'm not terribly sure how this is actually going to go because I'm going to be taking a look at a bunch of products that have been sent to me. While they are all tech products, I'm not going to be going too much into the technical side of things. It's more just going to be, look how cool this thing is with a bit of technical aspects. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So I think about two months ago, a company called Charge emailed me and said, would you like to have a look at two of our products? And I said, yeah, absolutely. And I got the two products and I did a bit of a video on them, but I realized that a lot of the stuff was a little bit over my head and I kind of made a mess of the review and I said to them, look, I kind of stuffed up the review. I'll send it back to you. They said to me, no, 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 just keep it. That's fine. Like it's a gift from us sort of thing. And you know, I really appreciated that. So I thought instead I'll just showcase the product in a video. I don't remember which one it was, but I quickly showcased the power bank and the charger that they sent me. But since then they've sent me another two shipments of items and I want to show them all to you today to showcase Charge's various products. It's very difficult for me to say Charge. Make a whistle with the S. Charge. Sh 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 charge. Charge. Charge? They used to be called Shard Geek, but I have to give a massive thank you to Charge for sending out all of these items to me that I wasn't sure what I was going to do with, but now I've got all of these items, I can just showcase them all in one video and just take a look at them and hopefully you all get to enjoy this rambly little thing of me taking a look at this stuff. Thank you so much, Charge, for the understanding and the generosity as well. I really do appreciate it. So hopefully I can deliver a video that shows these products in motion. I will, I'll try my best anyways. Now, before I continue on, this is not a paid review or anything like that. They have not paid me to look at their products. You will see paid promotion at the top of the video because when uploading videos to YouTube, if you receive anything of value from a third party, you have to declare it. It's just a thing with YouTube. They've just sent them out to me for review and to play around with and keep and use and let you all know how they go. But if you are interested in any of these items, I will link them all in the description below. So feel free to check them out if you want to. They're just there for your convenience, not affiliate links or anything like that. If you want to jump onto Google and type up Charge products or whatever, that's completely fine. You're not obliged to click the links. They're just there if you want to. So if you haven't heard of Charge before, you can jump in the same boat as me because I had not heard of them until I got the email and looked it up and went, oh, they have a lot of cool nifty tech products. However, they are a little pricey, but I can say for the price that you're paying for some of these items, number one, they're really good quality. Number two, they work really well. And number three, they look cool. Basically the extra money that you put towards these tech items is for the cool factor. So buckle up everyone, because we're gonna just take a look at the various items that I've been sent presenting a bag that has Ripley's fur all over it. So we'll just leave that. This, it's the wrong way. This is the Shah Geek 100. It was called the Storm 2, but they've renamed it. So this is a power bank that you've seen in a few videos. I've used this to check the charging speeds of random devices that I've got. And with this little Little display, I can see what it tells me, and it displays a whole bunch of other things too. I'll power it on for you. See, there we go. Shark X Storm 2, and the display is actually really, really nice. Also, there's dust everywhere all over this because I've been using it. And then you press and hold the button to go into the little menu, and you've got adjustable DC output setup, battery info, temperature units, timer, display, power off, that's obvious enough, and exit. And then you just press the button and there you go. But everything's there. It tells you the input, output, all that sort of good stuff. This is a 100 watt charger. It can deliver up to 100 watts and is mainly for charging like laptops and beefier devices over type C, but you can use it for phone charging as well. But it has a capacity of 25,600 milliamp hours with eight Samsung 18650 cells in this thing. And you can see straight through it. It just looks awesome to see the innards all there. And as well as the top as well, you can see straight through it. You can see all the capacitors and chips and everything there. And this is all not for decoration. This is all functional. But the price of one of these currently, 169 US dollars at the moment, that's on sale. But retail price of one of these is 229 US dollars. Now for a power bank, I understand that that is a bit of a hefty price tag right there, but it's 100 watts. It's 25,000 mil lamp hours, you get DC input, the 100 watt type C input as well as output to charge it. And then you've got the type A port as well as another type C port. A number of options are there for you. In my original video that I was filming for this, because there's so many different specifications for USB type C charging, I kind of got really confused with it all. So it's best that you read what it all says on their website to see what all of these ports can do. But 
but the main selling point is the 100 watts that you can get from that type c port this thing obviously has quite a lot of heft to it metal at both sides and plastic all around but if you did drop this you probably crack the plastic most likely that's why that bag is included so you can shove it in the bag and off you go i can safely say that this thing works amazing apart from you know plugging it in and seeing what's on the display and checking what's going on and stuff i've used this to power up my camera i've used this to charge a laptop i've used this to just do a lot of things with and it's just handy to have due to the display number one but also the capacity the biggest power bank i have is 10,000 milliamp hours and i have a feeling that was starting to die out so to have this is just good because if i ever went traveling bam, I have my power bank. I know a lot of people out there are probably gonna say, I don't really need a display on a power bank, which is understandable. That's the cool factor that you're paying for with these devices is the whole, you've got a display on this, you can see through it. You know, instead of just power bank in a plastic shell, plug it in, off you go sort of thing, at least you've got this wow factor, which I really do appreciate the wow factor because I like see-through technology and actually seeing the innards of a functioning power bank is really, really cool. And the cable that comes with this is this yellow one that I think they call a phantom one, I believe. I'm not too sure. This is a Type-C to Type-C cable. This is capable of delivering the 100 watts, depending on the device you use, of course. For 229 US dollars, would this be worth it? At that price, I would probably say not for me. At 169 US dollars, that seems a little bit more enticing, but you are getting a quality product that is really nifty and has plenty of features. And then if you want to power it off, just Hold the power button, off you go, that's it. I'm not gonna tear it down because you can already see inside of it. So that's the first item from Charge. So we're talking about power banks and stuff. So let me show you the next item, which is this bad boy, the Charge Ice Mag. This was unexpected. I got a notification to tell me that I had a parcel to pick up and I've just went, from who? I don't know. And I went there and it was this big box. The post office decided to rip it open because this had batteries in it and batteries are very, very dangerous. So they ripped this apart to see what was in it and then they packed it in a really large box. And they opened it up too, by the way, to check it all. Regardless, this is another power bank, but it's not just any old power bank. Well, I mean, they don't sell just normal power banks, I don't think. I think all of them have something cool to them. Yeah, they do. And when I seen this for the first time, I looked at it and I just went, okay, it's a power bank. And then I've noticed that it has a fan in it. And that is so adorable. But we'll get to that soon. Now, the current price for this is actually only 59 US dollars. And for the features that this actually offers, I think it's worth it. And on their website, it's currently 51 US dollars because they've got some sort of promotion going on. So as I'll showcase very soon, with all the features that this does have, it's a fairly good price for a bit of cool technology. I have to call back to the cool factor. Not the whole thing that it's, you know, keeping things cool and it's called ice. Sorry, that's a terrible pun there. The fact that it's got a little tiny fan, it just, it's, it's cute, but it does more than that. It does more than that. So Ice Mag Power Bank, just down there, 10,000 milliamp hours, and it's also capable of delivering 20 watts. It's airline safe, but still the post decided to rip it apart, but that's okay. The Ice Mag Power Bank, Type C, 10,000 milliamp hours. USB-C input is 5 volt, 3 amps, or 9 volt, 2 amps, 18 watt maximum. Then it's got wireless charging. The Storm doesn't have wireless charging, but this does but it's got a little bit more functionality. It says rated capacity 5,800 milliamp hours, uh, which is strange. 225 grams this weighs. Product overview is pretty self-explanatory, but you might be seeing this and going, oh, I recognize that. This is compatible with MagSafe and I have tested it and I've never used MagSafe before on an iPhone and I've just went, well, that's cool. Here is the device. We also get a Type-C cable within here, and I actually haven't opened this up yet, but I think it's just a little tiny one, a little fella. If it was red, I would have been happy, but no, nah, it's just a little Type-C through Type-C cable just there. Then we get some instructions, which probably is in, yep, a whole bunch of languages. It's probably just easier if I show you all the device itself. And here it is. You can see right through it. And when I seen that fan for the first time, I wish I could have filmed my reaction because I went, oh. It's so adorable because it is, it's adorable. It's a tiny little fan, but it's not just a normal standard fan. No, it has to have RGB. It has RGB, man. But yeah, 10,000 milliamp hours and for the size, it's, you know, pretty good for 10,000 milliamp hours. On the back is the wireless charging and there's the button there too. That button is to, I don't remember what the button does. What does the button do? When you press the button, it tells you how much battery life is left. But if I just use a spare device here and just plug it in, should just power on like so 
fairly self-explanatory. But as far as I can tell though, when it is charging wired, the fan doesn't come on. It's when you use it wirelessly that things get really interesting. So here is my iPhone 12 mini. As I said, the first time I ever used MagSafe and I've just went, whoa, that's pretty cool. You basically do a little something like that and then there we go. It locks, it's stuck, it's not going anywhere. And now you have an iPhone 12 mini that you now have an extra 10,000 milliamp hours stuck on it. But look at this go, look at it go. It is so adorable. You can actually feel the tiniest bit of air coming out of the ventilation at the bottom there. Isn't that just worth it right there? The fan is a little bit noisy as well, but for a tiny little fan like this, it's perfectly acceptable. The thing that I'm kind of a bit curious with though, is that it's not gonna be doing much in terms of cooling. That little fan is only pushing out the most minimal amount of air. The whole unit is gonna get quite warm. I don't think that's gonna cool it down to an extreme amount. It would be very, very minimal. But regardless though, it is still pretty sweet to have a fan on a power bank and MagSafe too. And while the MagSafe feature is really cool, I now have an S23 Ultra and I've bought a case that has magnets on the back of it. So I'm hoping I can use this with that. And then you just, take it off and that's it. It turns off and it's done. If I just do that again, it sort of detects it and then it locks into place. And then for my S23 Ultra, if I just plonk it on there, that's it, done. So with the device connected, the LEDs are sort of going in different patterns. So maybe that does mean something, I'm not too sure. I didn't do my research on this. The fan spins at 8,000 RPM, wow. All up for this for 59 US dollars, I think it's absolutely worth it. To have the wireless charging with MagSafe, little see-through area. I wish the whole thing was see-through, that would have been cool, but you only just get that little portion. Actually, it looks like the batteries are just right under there. It's sort of sucking out the heat from the batteries, I guess. And then phew. this does make for a good birthday present to a family member that's into technology. I bet they'd go, man, that's pretty cool if they open this up, that's for sure. So that's the Ice Mag Power Bank. The second item from Charge. I'm showing these out of order, but that's okay. Let's move on to the next item, which I was not expecting because the other day I got another notification saying that I've got another parcel. So I went and picked it up. I didn't know who the parcel was from. I couldn't quite tell. And so I opened it up and it was more Charge products. I got sent a 35 watt charger, a USB cable, and the item that I'm about to show you. Now this item that I'm about to show you is on Indiegogo at the moment, as well as Kickstarter, I believe, but I'll link it in the description below so you can take a look at it. And once again, I wish I could have recorded recorded my reaction when I first seen this because I didn't know what it was. Let's just go through how I sort of experienced it for myself. This is what was inside the box with the other stuff as well. A shimmery, shiny bubble wrap bag. And then I opened it up and I seen this on the back. SSD, okay. And then I turned it over and I seen that in there. For some reason, my brain didn't connect SSD with that. I thought this was a wireless adapter. It's not a wireless adapter. It's an SSD enclosure within this little package. You get little thermal pads there, as well as a little rubber piece to probably attach the SSDs. But this is where things get really exciting. Not only is this an SSD enclosure for tiny SSDs, I don't remember the size of this SSD, but it's the really, really small ones that are being commonly used now. This is a 512 gig SSD, and the cable is also in this little protective plastic housing that I'm actually not too sure how to open without breaking it. The enclosure itself is IP54 certified and drop proof, but it also has the world's tiniest fan on it. My God, that is adorable. <laughs> I seen that and I just went, oh, that's so adorable. Now, before I continue on though, unfortunately, Charge is not selling the enclosure with SSDs. You can only get the enclosure off Indiegogo. And I believe this whole entire kit is roughly $100 Australian. It says $81 Australian on Indiegogo, and then it says $155 Australian crossed out. So I'm not quite sure on the exact price. The link is in the description, and that will obviously change during time because this is currently a prototype, thus why I didn't get retail packaging. This is basically what the unit is going to look like in production because production's already started at the moment but I've just got one of the earlier units and I wasn't expecting to get this and I'll tell you what this thing is going to come in really handy because I want to be lazy and edit videos in bed I needed a way to transfer data from my main PC to a laptop without having to carry around a one terabyte hard drive in an enclosure or one of these which has a 256 gig SSD in at the moment which I've been using to transfer storage this is just so 
much more niftier. See, I opted for see-through tech as well with this one and red. But if you do purchase one off Indiegogo, you won't get the SSD in there. But I believe you can put up to two terabytes in this. The cooling fan runs at 13,000 RPM, which is quite insane. But to get inside of this, you just open up the little plastic door there to make sure that this is still IP54, just close it down and it should be fine. But you can now get access to the SSD. Absolutely adorable. There is a bit of film that I forgot to take off. Look at a 16 gig USB drive from a couple of years ago compared to this. It's just amazing how far technology has come knowing that I've got a 512 gig SSD right here in this cool enclosure that this sort of doubles as a loop so you can attach it to a bag or whatever or your keys if you wanted to. It's up to you. Uh, the door actually comes off like so as well. Don't worry about that. You can just easily put that back in there and that's it. Taking this out of the case, you can still use it with the case on or off. I just wanted to show you all that you can sort of see the inner workings of it. Once again, see-through technology. At the top of the enclosure is this little door that opens up to reveal what would be the Type-C port on this. And then you would grab this out, which I'm still not sure how this comes apart without breaking it. Um, and I don't want to break this. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Then you would grab this out and then you plug that into Type-C and that into your PC and off you go. Well, it doesn't have to be a PC. It can be mobile phone. It can be whatever. Now, if I go ahead and plug this into my S23 Ultra, there it goes. It's a bit of a noisy one, but it's cooling the SSD down. And I'm going to be taking this apart very soon to show you all what this thing can do. So on my phone, it's come up as read only. This storage is read only because it uses the NTFS format. That was my fault. I formatted it in NTFS because there's one little thing on this that I didn't notice. And I haven't spoken about it because I wanted to leave it as a bit of a mystery. No, I'm actually lying. I forgot about it. <laughs> Don't cover while working because you've got some little ventilation just there. But see this little switch? This is something I have not seen in quite a long time. This is a write protect switch. So like on SD cards, you have the little switch at the side to protect the data from being written on there. Same thing goes with this. Silly me, when I was first having a look at this, I thought this was to lock the case so then it doesn't come apart. So I just decided to switch it on like so. And then the other day I plugged it into my PC and it couldn't format. And I'm sitting there going, why is it not formatting? And then I went, oh, that's right. It has a write protect switch. Switch that on formatted straight away. That was silly of me doing that. But come on, is this not the coolest SSD enclosure that you've ever seen? The fact that it's got a fan on it and it's see-through. I don't need to say cool because look at this. Toolless design. And then you just push the little rubber stopper out of the way to then get the SSD. There's a little tiny SSD there. This is a 512 gig Samsung NVMe drive. And I have done a read and write test on it. And I'll just display that right there. So I got almost a gigabyte with read speed and write speed was 889 megabytes, which I honestly thought that was pretty good. I'm not too up to date on SSD speeds at the moment. I know that they're ridiculously fast, but from a tiny pocket sized device like this, that's perfect for transferring my ridiculously large video files that take up several gigabytes. So the last thing is that there's two screws that hold down the PCB to the casing. But I'm gonna take these off just so we can have a look at our little buddy. It just shows how easy it is to just replace the SSD. All you gotta do is slide that open, push the little rubber stopper back, plug the SSD in, plug it into the PC or wherever you're gonna be using it. Done, easy. You don't have to stuff around with screws and all that sort of stuff. And now I can grab this. Oh my God, it's so adorable. <laughs> It's adorable. Look at it. <laughs> it's so cute. But that's soldered onto the main board there. You can see there's like glue and stuff holding it in place, but that's directly over the Realtek chip that's in this. It would be doing its job. I don't doubt that at all. That fan is going to help it stay nice and cool. For it spinning at 13,000 RPM and sitting right above the chip, I would say it would be doing something good. Perfect. See, you just move the little rubber stopper around and that's it. Ah, uh, where's the top of it? There it is. And that's it. You could also take the top off and put a regular sized SSD in it if you wanted to. It's an option if you're wanting to just test SSDs with this. For the price of this, I can say that it's absolutely worth it. I'm not sure what happened to them, including SSDs with the enclosure, but I guess people have the SSDs laying around. And most people that are going to buy this are going to be tech savvy folks that likely have an SSD laying around or they're going to purchase an SSD to put in this. So kind of makes sense at the end of the day. I will just stick this back in and you can see that the Type-C port is just there and I can 
put that back down, put this back in, make sure that's all nice and sealed, which it is. And I can put the Type-C cable back in there like so, click it back down together, we're ready to roll. So that's the charge disc, which is a really cool little SSD enclosure that I've talked about for way too long. This is what I mean with this video. This is just a showcase as well as me going, look how cool this stuff is, all right? When I was looking for an SSD enclosure, if I seen this retail, I would have went straight for this because this would have checked all of the boxes that I would have needed for an external SSD enclosure. Granted, I have a lot of the bigger SSDs laying around, but this is just nice and portable and cute. And it's just, it's cute. Now the last items that I have to show you all are some chargers. This charger that I'm about to show you is from the first package I got from them. But this is a 67 watt fast charger. That's in the shape of an old Macintosh, which is extremely cool. And the advertising also has a matrix picture in it too, because it has matrix on the screen. That screen actually functions. Retro Trendy Design Matrix Display 67 watt fast charger, multiplex GAN power chip, wide compatibility and security protection. This doesn't come with a USB cable. I thought it would have, but it just comes with the user instructions and the unit itself. And currently this is 69 US dollars, but the retail price is 79 US dollars. You've got three Type-C ports on this, because here is the unit here. USB-C1 is the 67 watts. USB-C1 and C2 combined, you get 45 watt on one and 20 watt on the other one. Then if you use C1 and C3, you get 45 watts and 20 watts. If you use USB-C2 and USB-C3, you get 15 watts. And it is highly detailed for a charger anyways. It's got, you know, the ventilation going around the unit. And then at the back, you even have the expansion slot there, a power switch and a little power plug there just it's adorable yeah all of the specifications just there on the back so if you want to pause and have a read of that you can plugging that straight in like that that's what it's going to look like with the us prongs but they do come with the travel adapters i can then do that and now it's right for my country but you might be thinking well i have type c cables around but i want something with a little bit more pizzazz you know well don't you worry because they sell usb cables for this this is the retro cable that's usb type c to type c and it can support 100 watts of fast charging and i haven't opened this up yet because i wanted to leave this as a bit of a surprise so this cable is not just any old type c cable this is specifically for this and you might go okay it's in the same colorway s'mores all right what's the big deal about this. Take a look at the cables. Apart from the charge branding, these are emulating what the very old Macintosh mouse used to look like with the single button on there. That goes into one of USB ports and then you plug that into your device of choice and it looks like that you've got a little mouse plugged into it. This cable itself is 19 US dollars. So all up you're looking at 90 US dollars or 80 US dollars if you get it on sale for this setup, which I can definitely say, yes, very pricey. Even though it has a display on it, it doesn't do a lot. It will only just tell you the current wattage and do the matrix rain effect. But regardless though, if I just, oh, hello, if I plug that in, you can kind of see it. It's a bit dim. Off camera, it's a lot brighter, but you can see the matrix rain going on there. Plug type C in there and I'll plug it into my S23 Ultra. It says 15 on it. Now you're seeing it flickering. It's not flickering in person. It's actually solid 15 that it's saying. I'm getting 15 watts with the way that power works and all that sort of stuff. It doesn't just feed 45 watts straight into the device because my phone's at 82%. It doesn't need it. It saves up space in my office because I can use all three type C ports and eliminate having three different charges for type C. I can just have the one there and that's it. And this will fit on any sort of power board as well. It's not going to get in the way of any other the adapters or plugs next to it. It's in the right form factor. Going back to the price of this and the cable, it's pricey, but it is a really cool novelty, especially if you like the classic Mac as well, and you want the cable for the whole aesthetic, you've definitely got it here. But what if you wanted this same thing, but you didn't quite want 67 watts? You wanted something a little bit more, you know, sort of simple. Well, that's what our next item is all about. And I haven't opened this up as of yet because I wanted to leave it for doing this. Here is a little fella with the travel adapters. And you've got UK and a European plug there as well as Australian. But this is a retro 35 watt charger with a retro style LED light, 35 watt output powered by the GAN chip, wide compatibility and superior safety. And it's got Macintosh on there. Now this 35 watt charger is currently 29 US dollars at the moment. The retail price is 49 US dollars. 49 US for this seems a little high, but 29 US at the moment for this, I think is pretty good for the price. Now, apart from the box being pretty awesome as it is, wait till you see this little guy. 
look at it. <laughs> it's so cute. While it doesn't have as much details as the 67 watt one, it's still got that aesthetic to it. They didn't include the little badge there, would have been cool for that. You've got the Type-C port at the top, 35 watts there, and it does multiple outputs as well. 5 volt and 9 volt at 3 amps, 12 volt at 2.92 amps, 15 volt at 2.33 amps, 20 volt at 1.75 amps, and 3.3 to 11 volt at 3 amps, but that's via PPS. Slot that bad boy in, and there you go. And that's about the same size as my regular Samsung fast charger that I use to charge my phone anyways. Here is where things get pretty exciting. Okay, well, maybe not exciting to you, but exciting to me. You have a whole bunch of stickers that you can put on there. With all of these stickers that you get, you get a smiley face and the hello and a little panda lightning bolt and a guy looking out and guy taking something. Think different, classic rainbow matte colors, cannonball, uh, farting a star, how you doing? And whoa, I'm fast. So you can put any of them onto this and customize this to your liking if you want. Also, I have to show one thing from the listing, this. If it came with this little keyboard and little floppy disks, I probably would have sat here and went, oh my God, it's adorable for the, like the fourth time. But sadly, it doesn't come with a tiny little keyboard or the little mouse or the little floppy disk. But it would have been really cool though. If I plug this in, it's a solid color because there's four colors for this. So stand white is nothing. Yellow is steady speed charging. Blue is fast charging and green is super fast charging. So if we get the retro cable, there we go. And that's fast charging. It will turn green if you do use a device that does support super fast charging. The way to tell when your device is fully charged by just simply looking at this is if the screen is off on this or you just alternatively check your phone, it's completely up to you. There we go. It changed. So that's now steady speed charging. As my phone is now 84%, we won't see the super fast charging happening. Now the display is cool and everything, but for where I'm plugging these in, I won't be seeing the display, which is unfortunate. But if you have your power strip on your desk or something like that, you can plug this in, off you go. And even as just a little decoration and just have this to the side next to a classic Mac or something, makes for a pretty good novelty and as well as a charger. So it's a two in one. This would also make a cool gift to someone who does like the classic Mac and stuff. And yes, I did kind of scratch uh, the top of the plastic there because I thought that this little plastic piece popped off and then you could put the sticker underneath there. But I have a feeling you put the stickers on top of there and that's how that works. And then the LED shines on through that sticker. That's how I think it works anyways. And just as a bit of a comparison as well, that's the 35 watt versus the 67 watt. Bit of a difference, but you get a lot more functionality with this one than you do with this. This is cheaper, more basic. This is more expensive but it has a lot more features. If you're charging multiple devices all the time, then you might want to grab this one. But if you're only charging one device at a time, then this one's perfect for you. And they both look exactly the same. I mean, this one's more detailed. The aesthetic's there, and that's what I appreciate. That's all of the items that Charge has sent out to me. So to recap, Storm Power Bank, Ice Mag Wireless Charger and Power Bank, the neat little Charge Disc, 67 watt fast charger, and 35 watt fast charger. Being perfectly honest, it's very hard for me to criticize a product when I'm getting it sent to me for free. I have to sort of switch my mindset to a consumer point of view, and that's why I've expressed during this review that charge products may seem pricey, and they are pricey. It's that functionality and the quality that you are getting with these things that I personally think it is worth it. That's just my opinion, though, that they are of good quality and they work great, according to me, though. But other people may have different opinions on these who have reviewed them and have said, you know, they're not too good or anything. It's all just opinions at the end of the day. But for me personally, I probably wouldn't purchase this and the power bank, but these three, I definitely would have purchased from their site for sure. And especially if the stuff's on sale as well, that sort of works in your favor as well. This is the definition of cool tech. This is a company that takes making stuff like a power bank or a charger that's just usually a very standard thing into something that's a lot more cool. And for us tech savvy folks, something to go, Oh man, that's cool. That's a cool little novelty. That's got some cool functionality to it. It's just, it's worth it. People might just want basic stuff. That's completely fine. But if you want to splurge a little bit and get something that's a little bit more niftier than basic stuff, then this stuff might be for you. All links for these products are going to be in the description below. So feel free to check them out if you want. And if I get this video out before the sale ends, then you might have a chance to snag some stuff super cheap. Maybe they might extend the sale. I'm not too sure. Regardless though, I have to thank Charge once 
once again for sending me out three different parcels with all of these items. I really, really do appreciate it. And originally I only thought I was just going to get the power bank and the charger, and then I got the ice mag, and then I got these and the cable, and thank you so much to Leo over at Charge for sending these out my way. I really appreciate it. And I'm not too sure if there's anything else that I'm going to be sent by surprise. I think that's absolutely everything for now. There may be more items in the future, but there's only so much that I can do with one charger. If I was to do a video on one charger, it's not that much of a fun video sort of thing. Yes, I'm excited to see it and everything, but it won't go that long because I don't want to tear it down. And I can only show that it does charge and it works and that's it. It's not really an interesting video, but multiple makes for a good interesting video because I'm actually taking a look at different products, you know, not just one thing. This compilation video sort of works in that way. And I know this was a really rambly video with me just looking at this stuff, but that was the whole plan for this one anyways, was just to sort of sit here and go through these items and give you my honest opinions and feedback on these. And I think I've done that. If you've made it to the end of the video, Thank you so much for listening to me ramble and go, oh, that's adorable, and say, oh, that's cool about 17,000 times. As I said, Charge did not pay me at all for this review. They've just sent this stuff out to me, and I'm having a look at it. But if you've made it through listening to this incoherent video, then I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. You'll have to tell me all what you think of these products, and if you own any of Charge's products, and what do you think about them? I'd like to hear your feedback in the comments below, because as far as I can tell, it's all just been positive from my point of view so it'll be just good to hear any other feedback from people who have used their Prox in the past or older Prox or something like that and if they're still going fine or whatever. I know I didn't deliver something really unique this week I'm just trying to catch up on stuff that I've previously agreed to and hopefully I'll get that sorted out before I take my break in October. Once again huge thanks to Charge for sending me this stuff really appreciate it and hopefully I've done justice by showing all of the products. For you all. But thank you to everyone else for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you got a kick out of this. And before I say my parting words, a massive thank you to John H for redesigning my logo. You are an absolute mad lad and it looks so damn cool. My previous cheapo one that I used was so basic. It was such a basic design. I got two non-copyrighted images and stuck them together and called it a day. But he's drawn this and he says that I don't need to credit him, but I believe I need to credit him for doing this. It looks so cool and it's in the style that I really like. So that is going to be the new icon from now on, is that. It certainly beats the old logo, that's for sure. But I guess the old logo had a bit of charm to it. But this new one definitely has some flair to it. And now I'll say, take care, stay safe, be good people. And I'll see you all in the next video, which should be a mini PC review at this point in time. But we'll see how we go. Until the next time I see you all, please take care of yourself and keep being awesome. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.